Hey, hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, we'll take a look at the developer note Netmarble has left for us regarding the June update. So four days ago, they released this notice of gratitude for all feedbacks given for the June update. They say, greetings agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. We would like to give our thanks to agents who provided feedback regarding the June update. All feedbacks are currently under internal review and we aim to provide further guidance through the development team let letter by, the by next week. Thank you. So what this basically translate is, translates to is uh, not many of our agents have shilled out 40 bucks in the absolute cesspool we call the June update and the Multiverse Saga new game mode, quote unquote. All feedbacks are currently under an internal review. So this means that uh, we are that they're investigating why not many people have shilled out 40 bucks and they aim to provide further steps how they can make players buy this obscene game mode they call Multiverse Saga. Then, four days later, or sorry, three days later, they released developer's note on the June update. Greetings, agents. This is development team of Marvel Future Fight. First, we would like to thank all our agents who shilled out 40 bucks for the journey of Fantastic Four Family and the Marvel Future Fight, along with those agents who have provided their valuable opinions so that we can make this new game mode more enjoyable. We initially prepared this pay-to-win multiverse saga up game mode in this update, hoping that many agents will shill out 40 bucks to play as Fantastic Four heroes and their interesting story, where they you skip all the casts it said that you fight dr doom however it seems that we did not fully meet the financial financial expectations either for our long-term agents or newest agents for this we apologize so they're basically sorry that uh, they overpriced this new game mode and that they didn't make enough money as they thought they would make we're planning to make following improvements to the multiverse saga game mode more details will be available in separate notice but our, Im our immediate plans are as it follows so before we start reading what they're improving this is a note for all of you to take whenever you're unhappy with a game mode with an update or a game in general not marvel future fight but any game in general just vote with your wallet they don't care if you post feedback on the forums. They do read it, but the number one thing they do is they look how much money did they make. So whenever you are unhappy, just don't spend any money. And they will get a hint, like they did in this June update. So what improvements are they making? Let's check it out. So first, Multiverse Saga Day of Doom's plus pack. To lessen the inconvenience, <laughs> they're, they're so slick, of being able to enjoy the new content only through purchase, we will provide an additional product for Multiverse Saga Day of Doom's that can be acquired through crystal purchase. So this is amazing. They're actually making it so that we can day, uh, that we can buy Day of Doom's with the crystals and not just... Uh, real money and in addition they will provide more crystals for the current package to increase its benefits there as of today they're only giving us 1000 crystals franklin richards and the ctp selector which includes the ctp of conquest so this is the only thing we're getting apart from of course the deluxe mission where you fight dr doom and get more artifacts uh, in the current package so they will increase the number of crystals we are getting and they will also distribute the additional crystals to the agents who sh like myself who shilled out 40 bucks for this obscene update we are planning to develop test and add this product to the update that will be released at the end of july wow so to add the button to buy the multiverse saga day of doves with the crystals you have to you just have to wait one and a half month so I'm really not happy with this. This should be at the latest released by the end of June, not July. Because by the end of July, the people who shilled out 40 bucks will have massive advantage over the players who didn't buy this pack, as we will have even more emblem upgrade kits and we'll get our emblems to the higher higher level before you can start double dipping in the normal and the, the deluxe mission of day of dupes plus pack so then they're talking about future release plans about multiverse saga so we will improve what could have been better in our first multiverse saga theme day of dooms and we will consider the opinions of our agents on our future teams 
Future teams will have more content than a legendary battle, but not be as heavy as an epic quest. And we're currently planning to release a new theme on an annual basis. So this is decent. They should have more content than legendary battle, which you finish in like five to ten minutes. But they should not be as heavy as epic quest, where you have to farm them for two or three weeks before you fully complete an epic quest, unless you crystal skip the search missions, etc. <clears throat> so. They're also planning to release the Multiverse Saga on uh, annual basis. So once a year, they'll release a new Multiverse Saga. And this is a decent time frame to release this new content. And they'll aim to provide better story animation and in-game balance. We will also provide related products at a reasonable price. So what this means, I think, is that, they, that the next Multiverse Saga they release will be cheaper than 40 bucks. So they'll probably cost like... 25 or 30 bucks maybe even 20 bucks because they really didn't make enough money with this multiverse saga update because of the backlash and they will reduce the price for uh, future multiverse saga release plans then they talk about the alias type of franklin richards and it's uh about him not being a mutant because he was the first mutant who was born to an omega level but in order to stay in line with more modern interpretations of the character, like Fantastic Four 2018, Volume 26, they decided to change his in-game malice type as a human. So this is just an explanation why he's not a mutant, but rather a human in the game. Uh, thank you for your love, support, and your opinions you have sent for us for nine years. We will also go over the opinions of our agents, provide tr uh, truly, and will make appropriate changes, even if it may take a while. I am not really sure why does it take this long to add a crystal purchase button and I'm really not satisfied with them taking this long but at least we were vocal about it, you guys voted with your wallets, you didn't buy this obscene deluxe pack and they are making changes to this system. I hope there will be more improvements to the emblem system as well where you can actually gamble for uh, exclusive or non-obtainable emblems like Green Goblin, etc., using in-game currency and not premium currency like crystals. So I hope they'll make something just like Artifact Gamble where you can play the Mansion Rifts, get Celestial Assets and then gamble with a low chance to get any artifact in the game. I hope that they will make something similar with the emblems, but they do not specifically say nothing about that. So that's maybe just a false hope on my part. So now let's talk about what can we expect? How much more crystals can we expect? And w is this enough? So if we go back to the uh, to the game screen here, and there, what I think will be the pricing of the new Multiverse Saga in the crystals, if we go to the Epic Quest and we go to any Epic Quest I do not have and go to the Deluxe Pack, as you can see, it costs 45 bucks or 6,600 crystals. So you can either pay 6,600 crystals or you can pay f almost 50 bucks, right? So I said 45 bucks, but it's 50 bucks. So now, uh, if we use this as a baseline comparison and we see that they value 50 bucks at around the same as 6,600 crystals, if they charged Multiverse Saga or 40 bucks so 10 10 bucks cheaper we can honestly expect that the deluxe pack for multiverse saga will cost around 5000 or 5500 crystals this is just something that's real if we look this or this is just me being real if we look at the pricing of the epic quest with the money and the crystal counterpart so what you can expect, in my opinion, and I hope I'm wrong that it will cost like 4,000 crystals, uh, I think that they will price the uh, Multiverse Saga with for around 5,000 crystals. And then you'll get 1,000 crystals back, or maybe if they add an additional crystals, like 500 or 1,000 crystals, you'll get 2,000 crystals back. So you'll get so the full price when you deduct the crystals they're giving you back will be around... I think 3,000 or 3,500 crystals. And for that, you'll get an additional mission, you'll get Franklin Richards, and you'll get a CTP selector. 
if that's the case for it costing like 5,000 crystals and you're getting 2,000 crystals back, that's really not a bad deal because you're getting an additional mission to farm emblems. You're getting a CTP selector, which can in, uh, where, where you can select a CTP of conquest and you're getting a deluxe mission where you can farm additional crystals. So that's really not a bad deal. That's more like or close to the legendary battles where you can buy the deluxe pack for 2,500 crystals and then you get all of these rewards including 5, 000, uh, 500 crystals back. So it's actually more value if that's the price than buying a extreme pack for the legendary battles. So that's what I think you guys can expect from the upgrade of this multiverse saga they'll release at the end of july what i'm disliking about this developer note is that is the fact that there will take more than month and a half to release the crystal purchase button but at least the boycott worked and we did get something what my hopes are for the future of the emblem system and the multiverse saga is that they will eventually allow us to get all the emblems by using uh, in-game currency that we can farm instead of them just being locked behind hard crystal wall or hard chest gambling like here the mythic emblems most of mythic emblems or not most you can get spidey with the lux pack and you can get i think iron man with, with the deluxe pack but green goblin who is the best uh, emblem in the game is which gives you all basic attacks increase in all game modes uh, you can only get him by gambling with crystals and the chance for getting him is 0.1% if I remember correctly. So if we go and find the green goblin, where is it? Green goblin, green goblin. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I miss him? Pepper pots, chasm, laser, green. Yep, 0.12%. So that's my hopes for this update, but hey, we guys did it. I know that there were some content creators who say that the emblem system is not as bad and that the deluxe pack for 40 bucks was worth it. I genuinely disagreed and I will always give my honest opinion about new game modes and the updates to you guys because I think you guys deserve it to hear my opinion, which I'm not saying that it's always correct, but I will voice my opinion to you guys and be honest as possible and not try to hype up the update that i think is simply not good so that's all i wanted to say about this video and before i finish at 400 subscribers i'll do another or marvel account marvel future fight account reviews and roasts so if you want a chance to participate in that you can subscribe and leave your comment down below and maybe you get selected for the next account review and roast videos so if you need any help with your accounts keep in mind you can always join the discord and ask me something there or ask me in the comments down below and i'll try my best to help you uh, with that this video is over and i'll see you guys next time take care